Hello everyone, this is Noel Trudden here and welcome back to another video. Today we take a look at nuclear fusion in fine detail. I know that I made two videos on it a long time ago, but since they are not very informative, I have decided to make a new version so that it is first of all more informative and also more interesting. But of course, before we get into the video, why not leave a like and subscribe so you will get more content from me. Anyways, without any further ado, let's get into the topic then. So straight up, the term nuclear fusion describes the process of reaction in which two or more atoms fuse together to form a different type of atom, releasing a tremendous amount of energy in the process due to the release of nuclear energy inside the atoms. And nuclear energy is one of the basic forms of energy, even though it is not as widely known compared to things like kinetic energy or potential energy. So the process of nuclear fusion starts with this type of energy. You see, the reason atoms are atoms, not a bunch of protons and neutrons floating around, is because there are some forces bonding them together, preventing them from breaking apart. And this is nuclear energy, and nuclear energy is very, very strong. Because if it is not, the atoms will break apart easily and form other unwanted stuff which will make this world terrible to live in because your body might undergo nuclear decay, which is not pleasant. But of course, that is an assumption. In real life, nuclear energy is very, very strong. So humans tried to release and harness this powerful energy effectively. And thanks to dear Mr. Einstein and his famous E equals to MC squared equation and other nuclear scientists such as Enrico Fermi and Robert Oppenheimer, they achieved nuclear fission, which is what we commonly refer to when say nuclear power. More on that in a later video. Nuclear fission is much easier to achieve than fusion because the atoms in fission are bigger and not as stable. The addition of one single neutron can completely destroy its atomic structure and making a split in two. But nuclear fusion uses much more stable and small atoms, which require a tremendous amount of input energy, normally in the form of heat and pressure. But once the reaction has started, it outputs even more energy, mainly in the form of heat and light waves. And when I mentioned heat, light and pressure, did it remind you of something that is also hot? Bright and huge. Yes, the sun and all stars in the universe uses nuclear fusion to provide energy and sustain its shape, size, brightness and heat for a long time. Some red dwarfs can sustain nuclear fusion with nothing but its own hydrogen supplies for hundreds of billions of years. So you can see why people love nuclear fusion. It is clean, it is a source of almost infinite powerful energy that could solve the fossil fuel crisis in a stack of fingers. It could also be the key for us humans to advance into type 1 civilization of the Kardashev scale, which means able to harness all the energy our planet contains. So all in all, nuclear fusion energy is a clean, powerful type of energy that also drives our sun. And us humans have been working on it all the time to create a working nuclear fusion reactor that could output power. But you might ask, how do we achieve nuclear fusion? Well, to be simple, we heat our reactants, which is normally deuterium and tritium, which are two isotopes of hydrogen. To be complex, in order to fuse the atoms together, it requires thermal energy and pressure similar to conditions of the sun, but sadly we do not have the ability to create such pressure artificially, so we need even more thermal energy to make up for the lost pressure. The fuel would be heated to at least 100 million degrees Celsius, so because of the heat, it has to be in plasma form. Of course, such tremendous heat could not be contained by any human-made materials. So in most occasions, it was contained by a very strong magnetic field created by superconducting magnets. One popular design for magnetic field contained fusion reactors is a tokamak reactor, which looks like a donut. Magnetic field flows through and around the reactor containing hot plasma. There are many tokamak projects as JET, Joint European Taurus, East Experimental Advanced Superconducting Tokamak, ITER, the International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor, which is the biggest nuclear fusion reactor in construction, and many more. But that is not the only way of achieving nuclear fusion. 
Another popular design is an internal confinement fusion reactor. An example is the National Ignition Facility in the USA. The way it works is by blasting super powerful lasers at the target fuel which would be held at the center in a pellet form and heating up to plasma form. The plasma is contained because of the tremendous pressure applied by the lasers and when it reaches the temperature of reaction, ignition occurs, which basically means that the reaction has started. So to be simple, it is just many giant lasers blasting small pellets, making it nice and hot. Pretty simple, huh? So that's all nice and good, and we have indeed had many experimental test findings, but we still face many challenges that are waiting to be solved in the future. For example, how do we convert the output energy of the reaction, which are mainly thermal, into useful energies such as mechanical or electrical energy? You can't have a nuclear fusion reactor at your central heating system, can you? And currently we only get a very small amount of energy out of the reactor compared to the amount we put in. So it's not proportional. Once the technology has been refined, it is expected to output energy 10 times the amount we put into the reactor, so we still have a long way to go. But don't be sad, we should be seeing nuclear fusion in action in our lifetime. So that's nice. And I think that's all for today's video. Hopefully you have learned enough to show off to your friends and if you have enjoyed this video why not leave a like and subscribe as it would be a great help to me plus it's free so why not. Anyways thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.